Okay, for this video, we're going to show you how to wire a dash camera to a battery pack. And I guess we're getting this question asked a lot more frequently because of all of our battery pack videos. Plus, we've been selling lots of battery packs to customers that are DIY, they're doing it themselves. So we wanna make sure to give you the proper information. One of our customers contact us and it sounds like they found like a thread on Reddit and there was just information everywhere, a lot of confusing stuff, like people telling you only hook up two of the wires instead of three of the wires and it'll work properly. So we just wanna kinda of kill all that bad information out there and make sure to give you the correct information. So we're gonna show you how to hardwire a dash cam. We're gonna show you the Viewroid, Viofo, Thinkware, Vantrue, Blackview, Fineview, uh, dash cameras and we're just going to show you how they get hardwired and it's actually going to be quite simple to follow so first things first we're going to start with opening the thinkware battery pack and you open it up oh my lord there's all this wiring it can be overwhelming especially if you're not a professional like us here at safe drive solutions so you know you have your uh, your cable this gets hooked up to the battery of the vehicle which isn't really a big deal. Uh, we're not talking about this at all in this video. We're not talking about connecting it to the vehicle. We're only talking about connecting it to the dash camera. So we're gonna put these wires aside because they are not important at all for this video. We're gonna open up the unit. Brand new seal in the box. I'm actually installing this for a customer today and he knows I'm prepping it. So we're not really too worried about this. We're not gonna be selling open box product or anything to anybody. This is just, uh, we like to prep these typically at the home office. It makes it a lot easier. So as you can see on the back here, you have inputs and outputs. And that's the big difference is we wanna be aware of the output. So as you can see here, this harness on the Thinkware plugs directly into the output. And the big confusion is, so how does it get wired? So we're gonna take our little cutters here, cut off the little glad lock zip tie. And you're gonna see all these different wires and connections. So a couple different things regarding the Thinkware iVolt Extra. This particular connector right here is only for the Thinkware U3000 and it plugs into the BAT. So if you have a Thinkware U3000 or you have a Thinkware dash camera that has the BAT input, this plugs directly into it and it will give you notifications of how much battery life percentage is left on your dash camera. Okay, it will not do this for like a Vantrue or Viofo or Viewroid or something else. No, it is only specifically for that one there. So the other wire is a green wire, which is accessory input. This is only for hooking up to the vehicle and this is not what we're talking about in this video. This is what everybody wants to know about, the three wires, red, yellow, black. And where it gets all confusing is some of these other companies Viofo, <laughs> which we, we know we have a lot of Viofo customers, this is where it kind of gets confusing because how am I supposed to hook up my Viofo dash camera to this? And you would think this is very simple. I mean, wouldn't red get hooked up to red, yellow get hooked up to yellow, and black get hooked up to black? Well, this is kind of the challenge. So... I'm gonna strip this back. These are actually, I just use these on the bench. These are just really cheap, like uh, they'll cut and they'll strip. And if you know how to use them properly, like you usually buy these for like three bucks or five bucks. So, you know, if you are do it yourself, looking for it, this is something that is nice to use for stripping. Um, I like to use Klein personally in my own tools. So when we are on site, I'm using Klein and Snap-on tools, those kinds of things. So I'm gonna strip these three wires back. And the main reason why I always solder everything. Now maybe in, in for your do-it-yourselfer, for maybe what you're doing, 
you may want to use butt connectors or uh, you know, in heat shrink, or you might want to do it a different way. This is just how we do it here at Safe Drive Solutions. We like to solder all our connections. I'm not going to be soldering for this video, just mainly explaining how it is. So this is your VOFO hardwire cable, which you can see, right? It's got the, the USB-C output that will actually hook up directly into the A229. I just don't have the GPS antenna on the back of it right now, but you can plug it into the side or if the GPS antenna is there, plugs in at the top. And as you can see, so here's the big difference. The, the outputs on the Thinkware iVolt Extra, red does not go to red on a VOFO. And why is that? Because red, as you can see here, I don't know if you can or not, accessory out. Black is ground and yellow is battery positive. And now if we actually take a look at how uh, a VOFO hooks up, red is constant power, yellow is ignition, black is ground. So we know the blacks go together, so let's put black and black together, just like that, that's your ground connection. Okay, and then we are going to hook up Red to yellow. I know it's confusing, but that's just because the OFO um, reversed those wires, which should be standardized. I mean, hey, iPhone was just pushed into using USB C connectors, and now everybody's got USB C. It would be nice if there was standardized, standardized color codes uh, for that every dash cam manufacturer had to follow with their parking mode. That way, we didn't wouldn't be confusing like this, right? So as you can see there, similar to the OBD2 cable video that we have talking about how hooking up directly to an iRoad OBD2 cable, you have to hook up red to yellow, yellow to red, black to black. So this is how a VOFO cable has to be hooked up directly to that. That way it'll plug directly into a VOFO dash camera. So let's move on from that. We're done with VOFO. Let's move on to another one that likes to break the rules. Van True. So as you can see, it's the Van True hard wiring cable. This one's been used before. It was used for our uh, uh, the recent Ultimate 4K uh, video. And as we can see here, I don't know if you can see that battery red. I know there's some yellow there, but that's because it was hooked up to the battery pack prior. Uh, accessory, yellow, and black ground. So if I actually go and hook these up, you know, clean it up again, we're going to hook it up the exact same way. I'm just going to, uh, we're going to try and keep the little stickers on there. <laughs> I mean, obviously, this is just for demo. But as you can see, same thing again, right? And battery is red. We'll hook up battery to yellow and black to black for ground. And this is just, you know, loosely done for the video. But as you can see there again, this is for the Van True and this will plug in just like that for parking mode and to work with the battery pack. So Vantru and Viofo are both done and explained. So we're going to move this stuff out of the way. And now we're going to further confuse you. So now we're going to get into Blackview and uh, the other three. So the way it actually works is actually quite simple with Blackview, Thinkware, FineView, and Viewroid. So the way it actually works is red hooks up to red, right? Yellow hooks up to yellow. And 
black hooks up to black. And you might be wondering, well, why? Why is it that they went and confused us? Well, a couple different things here. Well, my observation would be all the major battery packs are made in Korea. And all the Korean hardwire cables use the red, yellow, black, just like this. So they're obviously just giving you that information. And these, the Chinese brands, which are Vantru and Viofo, they went and reversed red and yellow. Not sure why. Maybe that's the color coding that's used over there. I'm not too sure. But either way, it seems to make the most amount of sense in order for uh, um, the wiring. So this is less confusing. And as you can see, it'll plug directly into the Vuroid, directly into Thinkware, and directly into the fine view with no issues. Now, I'm gonna confuse you here because it does plug into the black view. But here's the thing, if you plug this into the black view, you'll probably fry the unit. And you're probably wondering why. Because the connector looks the same, the wires look the same. So if you end up getting a vehicle that has this barrel connector, and I've had customers call me over the years saying, there's already a connector up there, I'm just gonna plug it in. And I tell them, don't do that. There's no guarantee it's pinned out the same. So even though it looks the same, right, we're gonna move those out of the way and we now have black view, it looks exactly the same. It hooks up the same too, right? Red to red, uh, yellow to yellow. Right, and black to black. So no issues, wires hook up exactly the same. And this will plug in as well. But there's a difference with just how the tip is pinned out. Right, two wires are in different spots. So I know I accidentally did this once because I have these all on my bench, which is why I have the little white thing here marking that this is the black view cable. And what all that happened is I actually didn't blow up any dash cameras. I didn't have anything go wrong, but I did blow one of the fuses in the harness, right? So I got lucky, but not everybody is gonna get lucky. I've had other customers, um, that not even buy anything from us that have plugged it in and their dash camera doesn't work anymore. They've gotten lucky. A lot of times the manufacturer's covered it under warranty, but not everybody is going to cover it under warranty if they end up finding out that it was kind of done through uh, negligence or abuse, right? So let's just make sure that we're uh, verifying and utilizing the correct cables. Uh, if you don't have the hardware cable for your dash camera, make sure you get the correct hardware cable that is for that dash camera. That way you can wire it directly to a battery pack. So hopefully this information was helpful to you. Um, I know we just want to make sure to answer those questions, but now you know how to wire in a black view, a fine view, a Vuroid, a Vantru, a Viofo, and a Thinkware dash camera to a battery pack.